Hey everyone, this is Ross and you're looking at um, Camellia sinensis. This is the plant that makes tea. Green tea, black tea, white tea. We planted it here on the north side of my property against the house. Give it some extra protection because we're in zone 7 and this particular plant really does not do well in zone 7 or even in zone 6. There's some varieties out there like this one is supposed to be hardy to zone six. This is the small leaf tea. There's also some other Russian varieties, things from uh, higher altitudes in China or Japan that may work, but so far we're not really uh, looking too great in the season here. We had an eight degree low not too long ago. Eight degree Fahrenheit that is. And we've covered the base with just some straw, some grass, just anything we could find to kind of keep these guys a bit warmer. Uh, we have the house here as a nice thermal mass, even maybe some of these rocks are radiating some heat, but it's not really looking good. Um, we also have a two degree low, or four degree low, I should say, coming in within a couple days. So what I'm gonna do to protect these guys is actually get a tarp. Similar to how I would do the figs, we're gonna throw a tarp, some insulation over this just to keep it happy and warm. I know there's definitely some dieback up here. You know, this is certainly dead. Really unfortunate, but you never know what'll happen come spring. I'm sure these guys will grow a lot more now that they've been situated in this location for a year. But uh, I just gotta get them through the spring, right? Just gotta protect the base, keep these guys alive, and then we'll start propagating them and really filling in this whole area here to create a nice little low hedge of them. And if it ever does get this pretty low, I don't mind coming out here, throwing something over them, keeping them a little bit warmer. You know, they are an evergreen, right? They're not gonna drop their leaves like a deciduous tree would. So you don't wanna have them wrapped all winter time, but you do wanna protect them in a, an event that something like this does indeed. It does indeed happen. I know a lot of you guys are wanting to see me do a video on the tea plants and really tea that I have uh, brewed myself from that tea. But you know what, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. I know a lot of you guys also wanna see my little trip to Japan and we, how we went to a tea farm there and learned from um, some pretty experienced people. I was really impressed. But you know, I think that's gonna have to wait for now. Let's see if we can get our tea plants through the winter time. And uh, I'll catch you all next time, all right? See you tomorrow.